Doc Rivers has been pacing the sideline. And now you see Quinn Snyder jump up on that quick whistle against Philadelphia. Yeah, it looks like he was communicating with Rudy just to keep going down low. He can come up when called upon to set that pick and roll. First foul on Simmons. Bogey slides through and hits great bucket. Free throw line jumper, but he sliced through that Philadelphia defense in a hurry. Simmons the other way. High off the glass. Rebound by Donovich. Bogey takes a run inside, and he'll shoot two thanks to the foul by Harris. Just love Bogey's aggressiveness. You know, he can score at all three levels, no doubt. But when you get an aggressive Bogey going to the basket, he's also learned how to control that and find the open guy if he doesn't have anything. But that time he had a step on the defender. T, you notice there hasn't been much talk as he blow, blows on that shooting hand. <laughs> hasn't been much talk about the wrist. No, and you won't hear it. I mean, he's not playing like there's any issues. Boogie makes the first. Time for the Indeed player resume. Plus minus leaders in the NBA. Mike Conley, who's been riding the pine of late with that tightness in the right hamstring. Rudy, Boyan, and Royce. Four players in the top ten, T, in the NBA. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they're sitting where they are, because they, it's, there's an amazing connection with this Jazz team, and it's, it's just so much fun to watch guys step up for each other. Bogey becomes the fourth Jazz band to hit double figures. Soft touch three, Mike Scott. That's his second three-pointer, knocked one down in the first quarter. Joe, right to left, inside, Gobert. Finger rolls it, and Rudy will earn two at the line. That was the perfect definition of read and react. Joe Ingles right here sees it cut off, turns back to the right, finds that familiar face in Rudy Gobert. He's on the line. 18 minutes for Rudy T. Just one shot, made it, five rebounds. And at the line for the third time tonight. He's at 56% on the season and 